And joining us now, head baseball coach Buzz Verdusco. Buzz, Ernie Banks said, let's play two. Never said anything about let's play three. Just talk about that. I wouldn't expect any less from you. No, right. absolutely not. No, I mean, we didn't go into it uh, expecting to play three. Um, but with the weather that we were going to get the next day, we said, hey, why not? I mean, you know, instead of going, like you say, going to, instead of going to the ballpark, let's play two, we're going to play three. They were up for it. Well, expand on yeah. that because we, we've gone back through time. We've we have went through the all-time record, but that being Doug Menace, and we've never really <laughs> found a time where we've played three games in one day, let alone win three. Talk about that feat in itself and talk about the mental aspect of that on the guys. And obviously they had to handle it well because they took care of business. Well, the University of Mary, you know, coming in, you know, they had maybe six, seven, eight games under their belt. So... We knew they, they've already been on the field, so it, it was going to be a situation where we knew we had to play and play well. And, you know, the games, you know, it was 5 nothing, 4 nothing, and then, and then we had to take it into nine innings, you know, in the last game, which we didn't expect when you're trying to play a triple header. And so, um, you know, we did respond uh, offensively. We haven't, really, uh, we haven't really hit our niche yet as far as, as, far as where we want to be. I think it's, you know, probably 20, 30 points shy where we want to be at least um, – team batting average wise to be able to score runs and such but um, you know having to to play three games you do have to get into a, a, a little bit of a, a mental mode so to speak of being able to hey I'm going to be out here for quite a long time and we did give both teams a little bit of time uh, after the second game, probably longer than, than normal uh, break, about 45 minutes, and then, uh, and then we started the last one. We've talked a lot expectation-wise about your bats this season, talked about it last week, talking about it now, but how about your pitching? Where is your pitching right now as far as where you expected it to be? You know, we, we expected our starters to do uh, exactly what they've done so far, and with the addition of Ethan Ward and trying to figure out who those uh, three and four starters are, um, it's starting to come to surface. Ethan has done a great job. He beat Central last weekend uh, to open up the, the series. And so that part of it we feel real comfortable with. Um, from the standpoint of the bullpen, we still have some kids that we have to, um, we have to get on the field and kind of see what they're about, see if they, you know, they can handle the pressure and, and be able to overcome pressure and be able to pitch um, at a high, high level within the league. Well, Buzz, you look ahead now, and um, we kind of talked about this a little bit off camera. This is kind of a funky schedule because all of our home games are in March, and then it seems like all of our away games are in April. you got a big series this weekend. Missouri Southern comes to town. Uh, they are nationally ranked. They've only lost, I think, one time, mm -hmm. and they're a team that's got a lot of confidence, and these are key games coming up, aren't they? Well, going into, you know, going into the beginning of conference, um, I mean, my, why not start out with the best teams in the league, you know? I mean, that'll give you at least a, a mark on where you are as a team. Um, but if we, had to, if we had to ask for the best, type of, uh, the best type of schedule, I guess, as far as us having so many new kids and such and trying to feel real comfortable about what we are lineup-wise, I guess I would rather be at home, you know, to be able to do that. And then once we kind of, uh, you know, set our lineup, set our pitching staff, who we want in certain situations coming out of the pen, I think that's going to that's gonna help us be able to uh, get into these next series once we get on the road. Okay, Buzz, final segment. We call it easily as tantalizing, too. These yeah. are good questions again. Of and, course and they are. Them Why did they be? Last week. Um, we've used the term. We, we, we talked about this cliche, and I think Coach Bagley used the term kissing your sister to go along with that theme. Not that that's a real baseball cliche. Do you have a favorite baseball cliche? You know, I, I, I'm trying to think right now. Probably if you ask my players, they'd probably say, okay, yeah. I already have. We've yeah. got, we've got <laughs> something special planned for you in a few weeks, but anyway. Okay. Um, gosh, you put me on the spot. That's what um, we do here. The beauty of hey, Jim, like too. No, I know. Go, go to the next one. I'll, I'll come back to that one. Now, I'm but, not letting you off the hook. What is your favorite baseball cliche? Um, I thought Buzz Verduzco would just spit that right out. And I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a cliche, but, uh, you know, sometimes I'll walk around and I'll say, hey, sun's out, Griff's are here, ready to play. And then so they listen to some of that kind, like of kind of stuff, you know. Or something like that. <laughs> My favorite thing that you said, I think, ever, you just said two days ago when you were saying, on paper, guys, we're supposed to be this really good team. And, but really, Really on paper, we stink right now. When you look at the on paper, so th that, that that's on a buzzism. Paper. That's what yeah. that's that's a buzzism. Buzz. I, I think I think I think you're you're probably right on with that. <laughs> yeah, I, half the time I don't remember what I say. Anymore. See it this weekend. Fun <laughs> at the old ballpark. Okay, yep. that's Buzz Verduzco. We'll be right back.